Spring football is here and the MEAC swag battle of the Bulldogs was off the chain like a pit bull named King. South Carolina State told Alabama A&M, go ahead and pull up to the doghouse so we can get active. Both schools had a scheduling conflict to fill and once they signed on the dotted line, we realized this was about to be a show enough ball game. South Carolina State looking like the big dogs of the MEAC now that A&T is off to the Big South. And if you ain't know, they breed ball players down here in Orangeburg, bruh. And Darius Leonard and Alex Taylor on the sideline to remind you they got NFL stripes around here. But Akil Glass is looking like a pro prospect in his own right too. And he and the Bama Bulldogs are big stepping in the spring, looking to take their thing to the next level and get up in that SWAC championship game. The Deltas had the student section going up like they lost grip on a balloon. And the Marching 101 said, pandemic or not, y'all gonna get this fun. And I for one was just feeling blessed to be on the sidelines for some HBCU football. a and on the move. Akil Glass making some nice throws to get his squad in the red zone. But then it's Dakobe Durant, off the tip drill, and yeah, let me get that up off you, playboy. Durant gets the red zone INT, and he was just getting his day started. Dakobe back with another one. Yeah, let's make that two picks for the red shirt junior from Lamar, South Carolina. Then it's Shaq Davis with the acrobatic catch, but he might not even remember it after, oh my goodness. Number 29, Ken Moultrie lights him up like the tree at Rockefeller Center. The Bama Bulldogs recover the fumble and get back to trying to put some points on the board. Akil Glass finds Gary Qualls on the screen for 38 yards, Alabama A&M back in the red zone. Now let's put some points on the board. Akil Glass finding Abdul Fatih Ibrahim in the middle of the field and he stretches that thing on across the goal line. 7-0, Bama Bulldogs. Now the South Carolina State fans were giving Glass all type of smoke about those picks, but Akil just told him that that touchdown right there gotta be my fault too, huh? The Bama Bulldogs driving, looking to put some more points on the board, but mama, there go that man again. Kobe Durant got a hat trick with the picks, no hockey stick. Another INT for number 14, and that's three picks in one half. Go ahead and show off, young fella. But South Carolina State was having trouble moving the rock like Franklin in season one of Snowfall. So it's Alabama A&M back on offense. Then it's Gary Quark. He rushes for 17 yards. The late hit penalty backs him up, but Keel Glass say that ain't no thing. He finds Brian Jenkins Jr. in the flat. The cutback makes a man miss and it's all speed straight to the end zone where he slides on him for the celebration. But wait, come on back. The penalty takes the points off the board. But like I said, that ain't no thing to the Bama Bulldogs. Akil Glass say, if my bro can't cash in, how about I give you some change? More specifically, a dime. Akil Glass tossing a perfect ball to O.D. Hilaire. He gets the cinematic one-handed grab. And I hate to be the one to have to tell you this, but uh, you just got mossed, fam. 14-0, Alabama A&M up at the half. Now at the break, I caught up with current Indianapolis Colt and OG HBCU Game Day Defensive Player of the Year, Darius Leonard, to get the facts on what his dogs needed to do to come back in the second half. Uh, me, man, I, I think, man, we got we to get something going offensively. Uh, you see, uh, we the first half, the defense had four, four takeaways. So we got to find a way to get points off turnover, man. If we want to be a good team, you got to find a way to um, get some points, man. That's it. Hey, y'all heard them. Maniacs say the Bulldogs need to put some points on the board. But it was the Bamba Bulldogs getting to the money early in the third quarter. Akil Glass finding Ogil Hilaire again, and this time he jogs it in for the 65-yard score, and Alabama A&M is up 21-0. Now, South Carolina State is getting house, but they were finding some rhythm on offense. Tyrese Nix picks up 11 on the jet sweep. Then it's Kendra Flowers with a big gain off the screen pass. But that turnover bug will bite you in your hind parts at the worst possible time. The miscommunication on the zone read and it's another fumble recovery by Alabama a and Then, it's another dime from Akil Glass to Abdul Fatih Ibrahim for 17 yards. 
Then he tells Brian Jenkins Jr., go ahead, slide on him for real this time, fam. A 20-yard touchdown pass and he ain't sliding like Juice Jenkins. Shout out to bro, cause it's guys like this that make my job so much fun. He got some love for his QB. Kisses to the fans, you can go ahead and drop the curtain. The show has concluded, but not without an extra spicy parting shot for the rival conference. And it's 28-0, Alabama a and late in the third quarter. Now, South Carolina State did manage to get a little bit of their face back with the 23-yard Alex James touchdown run. But Alabama a and wins the pull-up Miak Swack Challenge 31-7. Akil Glass goes 15 for 33, 277 yards, four touchdowns, and three picks to Kobe Durant. And after hearing what happened between Grambling and Jackson State from their head coach. Grambling just fumbled. Grambling just fumbled on the water. First and goal, they lost the track. 33 to 20. Oh, good ball. They just fumbled. Grambling just gave Jackson and they fumbled on the water. It's worth it. We got to be stopped. 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 We got to be the Bama Bulldogs made sure to find HBCU game day and let everybody know what it is with them dogs from Huntsville. Them boys came next to us. I promise you they came out. The MIAC is done. Ah, the MIAC is over it's with. Over with. Welcome to the sweat, sir. Alabama ain't up. Welcome to the sweat. It's the public. We the Bulldogs. It's the public. Welcome to the sweat. It's the public. Welcome to the sweat. Put me on your YouTube. Welcome to the sweat. Welcome to the sweat. Welcome to the sweat. Can I Instagram talk to Number one for not to win.